everyone, it's Christy here uh, with a layout from April 4th to the 10th. I'm jumping around again and just kind of doing whatever layouts I want. I think I have six, six more to catch up on, two from January and a couple from February and March. So, yeah, anyways, um, you saw both spreads. Uh, at the beginning of the video and on the right hand spread there is a kind of polka dotted card from Gossamer Blue and that's where I chose all my colors from so it had pink, gray, yellow and then this really pretty uh, green color which I hadn't uh, used uh, before I don't think ever so I was really excited about using the green and the only uh, matching card that I could find uh, was also from Gossamer Blue and it said oh the possibilities so I decided to cover that up and make it into my title card and so I pulled out this white doily from Maggie Holmes open book and then I just cut um, a piece of this gray star paper that's from a Studio Calico um, 6x6 pad and then I just kind of pulled out some ephemera that fit with my colors along with this um, puffy sticker from the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection. These sticker sheets from the Maggie Holmes um, collection, the puffy stickers, like I feel like I've used them on like the last like 20 layouts that I've done. Uh, but they're absolutely gorgeous and they just always seem to fit with what I'm working on. So I think it's kind of fun. I'm just pulling out um, these black thickers. Uh, I went through, if you, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw, uh, the state of my, uh, crafting area. So my craft room, well, it's not, it's not a room. My craft area is in the basement and it's, it serves multiple purposes. It's a guest room, it's a playroom, it's a scrap room, it's everything. And so... Um, what had been happening was I wasn't really cleaning up and when guests would come over I would just kind of cram everything into the Alex drawers and that solved no problems <laughs> at all and my daughter really likes playing down there but I can't have her play down there because it's a mess and there's, she'd get into everything so it was time and anyway so I sorted through uh, everything, everything's sorted, and all my thickers and alphas are all in one place. And I went through all of them, and I still didn't really find any thickers that I like loved for this layout. Um, so I just decided to go with the plain black ones, and uh, added them on there, and just did the date April fourth to tenth. And I switched the top two four by sixes around just because I didn't want. Um, uh, the title card on top of like this journaling card uh, I thought it would be like too much too much embellishments in this one corner so I just switched them and yeah so this card is also from Gossamer Blue it's just a pink and white um, vertical stripe uh, and it has a little bit of a kind of vintage -y effect at the bottom of it you can't really tell um, but yeah I just wanted to use this as a filler card to write 27 weeks. Um, the photo next to it is a photo of me with my baby belly. Uh, when I was pregnant with Nora, I had like this pregnancy journal thing and it had um, prompts for every four weeks, but um, I couldn't find one that I liked. So this time around, we're just kind of doing it. Um, we're doing photos kind of like whenever I think about it <laughs> or like I'd still try to do it every four weeks or so but like the the numbers are kind of random so I think we did one at 22 weeks and one and again 27 weeks and then yeah but like we did them earlier on as well so the photo at the top left is a photo of my friend's baby Isabella and she was born um, early April no, sorry, end of March. And so on this, uh, during this week, I got to meet her and I got to do some newborn photos for 
uh, for them and some family photos which was really fun and so this is just one of the photos this is my favorite photo because you can see um, like her little foot and I just really like that detail so I added um, a seven paper vellum heart with some pink uh, twine and then just a fancy pants label to that and now I'm on the bottom right hand photo which is a photo of my dog just kind of chilling and so I use two pieces of ephemera um, there just from my stash when I was cleaning my uh, space I made my husband like organize all the ephemera it was it was organized but then I kind of just had like this one box that I had just been like throwing all my extra pieces in which was ridiculous so anyway him and I spent a good hour and a half uh, just sorting sorting ephemera into bowls so that's love right there Adding my date stamp, um, this is my old standby date stamp in organizing as well. I was hoping that I would find my Heidi Swap date stamp, but I do not know where that is. So, um, just using my regular one. And then I felt like this bottom corner needed a little something extra. And so I went to my roller stamps and just added a bunch of phrases that were kind of uh, relevant for the week uh, and the week's events and I'm just doing my journaling now I left quite a few photos um, without embellishments um, just trying to keep it simpler and um, quicker like I want to catch up and I want to do things uh, more quickly so it's okay to leave some photos blank So here's the polka dot card that I was t referring to. I really love it. And uh, so all of these cards, uh, th sorry, the two 3x4s are from Gossamer Blue. And then I think this pink one is just from a Studio Calico paper pad. But I use the same gray star paper to kind of add a little bit more interest. Um, to those photos uh, from my Instax printer, uh, Instax Share, which I just recently got and I love, and I can't wait to incorporate more Instax photos into my project life. So those two uh, photos are from uh, my husband and I's anniversary, which was on April 10th, and we went out for dinner, my parents babysat, and it was amazing, even though it was pretty lame. Uh, <laughs> We just went to uh, like a home um, home uh, renovation store and like a sporting goods store and then we went out for dinner. And yeah, but it was really, it was really nice. It was kind of like a last minute thing um, that my parents came in so that we could do that. But uh, yeah, so I'm just making kind of another filler card slash journaling card with another black vellum heart and the thickers. And um, on the Saturday, my daughter and I went to the zoo um, just to just because we can, and it was really windy and um, but still really awesome because uh, it wasn't so busy. And Nora really was interested in looking at the animals, so it was kind of cool because we could sit and just look and watch and observe and. It actually gave me an opportunity to take some uh, photos with my DSLR and kind of practice uh, taking photos and such like that. So, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me uh, post a bunch of photos from that day because uh, I'm participating in uh, Paper Issues I Spy with PI. Um, it's kind of like a photo contest, not really a contest, but like you can, uh, by submitting photos, you can win gift cards or yeah you can win gift cards weekly or if you complete all 50 prompts uh, you're entered to win uh, even bigger gift cards so that's kind of cool I really like participating in their photo challenges um, obviously because I would love to win some gift cards but also because it helps me f um, practice my photography and take photos of things that I probably wouldn't normally uh, take photos of. 
adding some more roller stamps. Um, on this one, I think it says, P.S. I love you. And then I added a Maggie Holmes uh, label and another part of that doily uh, to the anniversary card with the Instax. And then using the thickers, I just wrote out six years because we uh, were celebrating our six year anniversary. And I'm just writing anniversary selfies and then doing some journaling. The bottom left photo is of uh, my dinner and Aaron's dinner. And I was really lame and like desperately wanted like an alcoholic beverage. Um, so they made me a virgin uh, strawberry daiquiri, which was like essentially like a smoothie. But still I felt, I felt like I was drinking, which... Uh, which I want to do, but anyways, um, I added a gray label to that love you card. Uh, I thought it was appropriate because of our anniversary, but also because uh, Nora now uh, repeats I love you uh, back to us, which is really, really cute. So just added some other bits and pieces of ephemera and labels. Um, these green puffy stickers are from a Studio Calico kit like from ages ago but they match the green on the polka dot card perfectly and so I had to use that. This also, this together puffy sticker also matches the green so I add that and um, just kind of flip through and make sure that it's balanced out as far as the puffy stickers and the vellum hearts and the ephemera and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you so much. This is one of my favorite layouts in a while, just the colors. So I thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.